لا تحسبوه شرا لكم بل هو خير لكم Don't consider it Don't evaluate it as something evil that has happened to you Rather it is something good It's something good for you And this is amazing how Pay attention to every type of fitna that befalls It has a purification element to it It purifies It solidifies the people upon the truth It many times it brings the snakes out of the grass. How many times have the communities gone through fitna and yet through that fitna the ranks are solidified and the snakes are brought out of the grass and all of the people who had been causing problems are now exposed and shown for what they are. So fitna while it's disliked and it's something that people do not like when it hits them, look for the good in the fitna. There's always some good element in the fitna. If you think about the most beloved person on the face of the earth to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam having the worst accusation being said against her and in that there's good and Allah says don't consider it bad for you rather there's good in it then every trial that you face and difficulty that you face will have good in it if it's of much lesser status than this great crime and this huge trial لِمَا تَضَمَّنَ ذَلِكَ تَبْرِئَةَ أُمِّ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَنَزَاهَتَهَا because of what this case included of Allah's exoneration of the mother of the believers and showing how she was pure and clean. And mentioning or alluding to her mention. Even so, even so much that the wording of the Declaration of Innocence and the resulting rulings include, the generality of that include all of the wives of the Prophet. May Allah raise his rank and grant him peace. Meaning all of them have been testified to purity. Where is that specifically? Huh? As is coming. The good women, pure women, wholesome women, tayyibat. The wives of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, firstly and foremost. They are befittingly associated with a tayyibin, the men of purity and wholesome nature. That's a reference to good women and good statements as well, as we'll see. However, they are the foremost of what's included in that ayah, that they are mubarra'un. They are also declared innocent of what the people have said about them, and they are tayyibat, they are wholesome women with goodly nature. وَلِمَا تَضَمَّنَ مِن بَيَانِ الْآيَاتِ الْمُضَّرِّ إِلَيْهَا الْعِبَادِ أَلَّتِي مَا زَالَ الْعَمَلُ بِهَا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And this is good, these ayat are good, and this issue of fitna was a good thing, due to what is found in the clarification of the ayat, that which are needed by the servants of Allah Ta'ala. أَلَّتِي مَا زَالَ الْعَمَلُ بِهَا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامِ Verses now that are recited and acted upon, all the way into the Day of Judgment. There are guidance for the people, rulings of how to live and so on. All of this is a great kind of good. Had it not been for the false accusation or the statement of the people of the, of the if, the false accusation, had it not been for their statement, none of this would have happened. And all of this good that has happened comes at the end or at the tail of that. وَإِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ أَمْرًا If Allah wants an affair, جَعَلَ لَهُ سَبَابًا He initiates something that brings it about. He makes a reason for it to have come about.